What's good, y'all? We have a rot. <laughs> That's my dad, y'all. Uh, yes, he'll be in this video. We have arrived in Cancun. I love Cancun. This is not my first time here. One thing to know, yes, as soon as you uh, step out outside the airport, there are hella taxis. So do not worry about trying to find a ride. You will get bombarded. In fact, they will even cheer for you as they try to get your attention for the taxis. But yes, there's plenty of rides. It's pretty busy down there, so I wouldn't recommend renting a car. Just plan on walking and plan on getting a taxi. So this video, we are going to focus on Rio Las Americas in Cancun. This is an adult only, all-inclusive resort. So keep your little nasty kids at home. This is just for the adults. And if you saw any of my other videos on uh, the Rio properties, um, you might think that this is a party resort uh, because it's only adults. Actually, this one is a lot more chill. So if you're looking to be around uh, some adults who want to wild out, but also uh, keep it classy, this is a legit uh, resort you might want to think about. Now, this is not one of Rio's bigger properties, but goddamn, it is a gorgeous property. I mean, just straight sexiness as soon as you step outside, and it's not overly crowded. You see these seats here at any other Rio, those places would be taken up by three o'clock in the morning, people just dropping towels. Now, they will drop towels by the other pool area, like closer to this area by the bar, but there is seating, which is, yeah, I don't, um, I don't know what that was about, uh, but they look relaxed, right? Um, but yeah, there is plenty of places to sit, even though this is not a huge property. Um, this is actually one of their entertainment areas, and this place is always wide open. As you can see, uh, my family, we like to kick back, kind of get out of the way sometimes, and just play games and have drinks. So we got a junior suite. Um, I want to say junior suite deluxe because there's two kind of junior suites. This particular one comes with this living room area that you see, and then you walk into the bedroom and then you have this other sitting area. The regular junior suites just have the sitting area and um, the bedroom, but most of the rooms, they will look out and have this beautiful view of the ocean and the backside of the resort. I do want to add that every single time we came into our rooms, it was very, very clean. This is a very clean property and the staff and the service people were all incredibly friendly and personable and wanting to help you. So that's always nice to go to a resort and, you know, people don't have a, an attitude when you ask for some more water, which is something that they will give you plenty of. You even have a duvet. Now that was kind of interesting um, that it was on the other side. So I guess you use the toilet and then you kind of crab walk over to the duvet. But I mean, you got to do what you got to do huge closet absolutely cute huge now i like to keep my stuff in my suitcase i don't actually unpack but you know it's an option for those of you that have to unpack and feel like you're at home alcohol will be provided in your room and not the complete knockoff stuff it's decent it's not high shelf but uh it's decent and it'll it, it it'll get the job done Another nice feature is the Wi-Fi. You've ever gone to a resort out of country or even out of the city and you can't connect anything? Not here, we didn't have any problems connecting anything. I brought my DS, I didn't bring my Switch, but um, I could have. If you are one of those people that uh, always has to be doing something, a nice thing about uh, Las Americas is that they have plenty of activities. They have activities uh, in the pool and they have activities outside of the pool. So if you feel like you have to be doing something, you can't just sit down, relax, and just enjoy a drink, get a little lit, and just enjoy the day that way, uh, they got stuff for you to do. Okay, we all know that a lot of people will judge the resort based upon the food, just you little fatties. Well, you won't have a problem here. The food was really, really good here. I like this place. Uh, this place was open 24 hours, so you got the late night munchies. You can come down, get a pizza, a sandwich, a cookies, 
a you know a hot dog a, whatever you want this place stayed open all night and it was good and it was constantly maintained it was clean there wasn't food splattered everywhere it wasn't a mess it was perfect this was one of the restaurants uh, that they had for dinner one thing that i liked about this resort was that it wasn't so large that uh, you have to make a reservation for dinner. You can just walk into any of their restaurant places that they have. They had different kinds of restaurants, uh, steak, uh, Mexican, Asian, even you know this buffet. You don't need a reservation, you just walk in and the people are dressed, which was also nice. If you peeped one of my other videos about the Ryu where people were just walking around, buy the food with their ass out in their bikinis, it was disgusting. Not here, dude. People come covered up, grab the food, you know, and keep it moving, which I liked. As the staff was even incredibly friendly. Dude, the guy who was hooking up the omelets was hella cool. He made sure that your omelet came out exactly the way you wanted it to do. He even did a few tricks. And uh, I think he was even flirting with me at one time, which um, I'm a fan of. So, yeah, great food. You're not going to go hungry. It's all inclusive. You can eat as much as you want. Eat until you throw up. They don't care. And again, with the food, very clean, a wonderful presentation as well. Not only does the food look good, it tastes good as well. All right, fatties, off the resort food. Let me tell you, perfection. Keep in mind, if you're staying at this resort, you're on the strip in Cancun, right? So a lot of these restaurants, uh, they're kind of touristy, but if you want some authentic um, Mexican food, there are some fabulous restaurants on the strip. Uh, this one, Limoncello, absolutely delicious. A little pricey you got a nice little view you have fresh seafood they bring it right to your table you can pick out what you want same with the meat nice and fresh and this guy he even puts on a show while pouring our cocktails and let me tell you this cocktail was delicious uh, for those of you that like your lemon drops uh, they do not play around with their lemon drops they know what they're doing this particular restaurant is the crab house and although it's the crab house, it, all of the restaurants uh, that are kind of like high end on the strip do the same thing. They bring out the meat, you can pick out your protein, the presentation is beautiful, and not only does it look good, it tastes amazing. And you're not gonna go hungry here. They're huge servings, so if you're a little on the cheap side and you see the prices, dude, just know that you'll be fed and you'll be happy any type of coffee that you order usually it's like the mexican coffee or a mayan coffee because i needed a little pick me up after my seven martinis they do this cool little show with you with the fire and everything and it's nice it's just a nice touch to while you're winding down dinner and then at the end of this not only does it look good yeah the coffee uh tasted really good too a really good time to uh, mention this but as far as the United States dollars versus the peso people ask well should I bring hella pesos you know they like their pesos but they're not gonna turn down the US dollars so don't freak out if you didn't bring enough pesos the menu I mean not the menus but your receipt will come in both dollar amounts how much your meal costs in pesos and how much your meal costs in the United States dollars and if you're using a credit card or something like that they will charge you in Mexican pesos and then your bank will you know uh, do the translation for you so um, that's just something to keep in mind I do recommend having some pesos on hand for um, tipping and uh, taxis but uh, it's not a big deal 
And also, don't be a cheap bitch, dude. These people, they work hard. Tip them at least 20%. If you're usually a cheap-ass tipper in the States or wherever you're at, pick it up. They appreciate good service, and it's good karma. So like how I was saying earlier, how you can pretty much walk to a lot of places shopping and food from the resort, every now and then treat yourself, get in a taxi and go away from the resort, away from the strip and get some real city authentic food. This place, oh and Jesus, amazing, so good. And the music sounded good, right? Yeah, don't forget to tip those guys too. Yes, Rio Las Americas has their own beach access. Uh, it's not a huge beach, but it is a nice beach. What I mean is it's not too rocky. The waves weren't too crazy while we were there. Um, and they had a lot of activities on the beach as well. One thing, and that could be seasonal, but the beach does not get as crowded as the pool area does. So if you don't get up early enough to put some towels down by the pool, you're more than likely gonna find a spot at the beach. Uh, the first row does go quickest, uh, but you'll be able to find a spot and sit down. They do have people from the resort that will go out and put up an umbrella for you. They do not have a set price. All you have to do is tip them, but I will tell you this, the more you tip them, the better umbrella you get and the faster service you will get as well. So if you are wanting any cocktails while you're out laying out or maybe need some help with your umbrella, keep that in mind. The better you pay, the better service you will receive. And even though their beach is perfect, nice sand, nice warm water, if you want to do some water activities, Rio Las Americas offers activities as well, such as parasailing, jet skis, snorkels, anything that you want to do on the water, you can pretty much get it right here at the Rio Las Americas. so everyone wants to hang out by the pools like I said if you want a spot by the pool you better get your ass up early and put a towel down and unlike the last review that I did at a Ryu property they have hella towels so don't worry about not being able to get a towel this isn't a huge resort there's plenty of towels so you don't have to worry about that as you can see they got a nice little bar in by the pool as well and they also have some music playing by there too so it's pretty chill i think there's maybe three pools at this location there's two pools that are closer to the music and then there's this one major pool by the entrance um there's plenty of seating around and you get serviced by the pools as well so if you're not feeling the beach and you'd rather just kind of sit in the pool know that you'll definitely be able to do that here What do I always say? I hate a big ass resort and a small ass gym. Well, this is not a big ass resort, but it does have a decent sized gym. I actually did not get my workout in this vacation. I felt like uh, my body uh, didn't need it or uh, actually just didn't want it. But as you can see, 
all day at any time there's plenty of equipment so if you need to get your cardio in or hit some weights you will be able to do that at the rio las americas i also this trip did not get to experience the spa which i normally do but it's there if you want to get a massage Like your typical Ryu resort, there is plenty of entertainment every single night. There's either a comedy show or some type of concert or some type of trivia. There is something to see every single night and uh, they're pretty good shows. Also, don't forget we are at a all adults only resort. Uh, yeah, go ahead, do your thing, y'all. You're never gonna see these people again, so do what you need to do. But yes, like I was saying, don't forget this is an adult resort, so there are going to be some adult shows. Now, not not too risque, but you know, maybe enough to get you like, oh damn. So uh, just keep that in mind. There are some shows. Uh, you know, they got some uh, attractive looking specimens, some for the men and some for the ladies. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed these shows. dinner a reservation is not needed to see these shows however uh, y'all know how y'all like to do you like to get there early so if you do want a good seat I do recommend getting to the show a tad bit earlier to secure a good spot but anywhere that you sit you, you'll be able to see just fine so don't stress about it There is so much to do off resort. Now I know some of you are like, well, what's the point of being at an all-inclusive resort if you're gonna leave the resort? Well, sometimes people like to leave the resort, okay? So if you're sick of seeing the same people at the resort, know that there's so much to do. Uh, you can go online to Viator or Travel Guide or wherever, or even you can ask the reps at the Ryu, uh, they'll give you some places that you can do. This particular thing that we did, this activity, we did a food tour and uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty awesome. Our guide was very kind, very personable. Um, I'm an introvert, so it took me a minute to warm up to being around all these people in a closed space in the van. Um, but I did and it was well worth it. The food was delicious. Um, this one was a taco tour and we went to different locations, tried their tacos, which they just seemed like the tacos just kept getting better and better. And uh, also we got a beer at every single location as well. So this was one of the activities, like I was saying, there's so much to do in Cancun. You can Google and find yourself some something to do with your friends or family or even something to do by yourself. Not everything needs to be booked, uh, but this right here is Coco Bungo, and this is one of their most popular um, entertainment things. It's kind of like a huge club. I, well, we didn't do it this trip. We've done it before, been there, done that, but if you're into a huge party scene, uh, Coco Bongo is very popular. Once you get to this part of town, um, it's pretty much just like a walking club. It kind of feels like Las Vegas down here uh, with all this rave music playing and ass out and uh, young adults and older teenagers um, acting like jackasses, people vomiting and throwing up. But um, just know that you, do, you can walk from the Ryu to that location me i like to uh, get outside there's a lot of shopping right here big stores like gucci prada all that kind of stuff 
cheap stores like discount stores any type of shopper that you are uh, it's right there on the strip there's even another Ryu which is close by that I believe we do have access to but just know there will be kids there this was a show that we chose to go see it's kind of like a circus soleil show and it was really really good we did the whole shebang we got the pre-show and then we got dinner and while we were having dinner there was um, entertainment uh, the band that was playing so it, it was a, a whole thing the only thing about this show was that it was about maybe an hour away from where we were staying at the Ryu Los Americas. We did not know that before we booked it, but you know, once we got there, it was all good. I mean, look at this food. The presentation on this was incredible and it tasted absolutely delicious. So if you're into trying new things, um, especially, I mean, we ate, look, that, those desserts were inside of a book, right? They gave us a big ass book and when we opened it up, there was desserts inside. So it was really, really cool. And the show was also really, really good. There's not a bad seat in the house. We just happened to get really good seats because that's how we roll. But just know that anywhere, any seat location, you're gonna see a good show. Okay, golfers, some of us, when we go on vacation, we have to get our golf on. And if you're concerned about where's a good place to golf, don't be, because there's so many good places to golf. And I'm not just talking about these members only courses. I am talking about public courses. This one right here is a public course and it was absolutely beautiful. Some of these holes, you could even see the water have those annoying ass carts that you know when you kind of dip off because you shanked your ball and it tells you gives you a warning that you're off course it was a nice cart it got to good speeds and uh, they're very well cared for they came with water they came with the broom thing to do the sand like it was very nice and I like this course a lot because it has these little cute little bandit guys and yes they tell you do not feed the bandits but they started with us dude while we were on the hole look at them they were trying to attack our cart and ravish it. So, you know, we made peace with them. That was me telling them to get the hell out of my cart. And they took off, but then we apologized and um, we made friends. And so, yeah, uh, he fed them and uh, they asked that you don't. Um, you didn't see us do it, even though this is a video, but uh, they don't recommend that you do it. Um, they might follow you and um, yeah, they did. But anyways, the golf, <laughs> the golf was really, really nice. Um, the weather was perfect, and it's Cancun, it's always pretty perfect. So we had a wonderful time golfing, it was beautiful. The people were kind there, the marshals, the golf marsh marshals were good. And even the cart girls that came around had a nice selection of uh, drinks and snacks as well. So um, I guess you're not having a bad day if, uh, if you're on the golf course. That's pretty much going to wrap it up on what to expect at the Ryu Las Americas. Um, I feel like this was a pretty positive trip. We didn't really have anything crack off. The resort was great. The service was great. The food was great. I mean, Cancun was great. So if you have any questions at all, you can just put it in the comments. I will do my best to answer any of those questions. And if you're headed to the Ryu Las Americas, have a fantastic time.